I'm here at Smithfield Market, the largest meat market in Europe and home to 800 years of history and a wealth of butchery knowledge and skill. And although this is utterly delicious, I'm here to find out whether bacon is, well, just bacon or if there's more to the gorgeous bacon butty than first meets the eye. Now, talk to me about curing. Curing, more well, there's basically two types of curing. There's wet cure or there's dry cure. Wet cure, all it is, it's immersed in brine, yeah. and dry cure is done in oak barrels. The most popular is rashers. Back bacon is like sirloin steak, if it was like a beef. Oh, I'm a back bacon and, man myself. And um, streaky bacon is like a pork belly that's oh. been cured. Is there any chance I could sample a little bit of your lovely bacon? Well, I've got some nice bacon here. This one is back bacon. Oh, it's sure my favourite. Trevor, you're a lovely fella. <laughs> Hello, Claire. Hi there. Now, I brought you that fabulous oak smoked bacon, which I'd normally use for bacon sandwiches, but you're going to show me something slightly different. Yeah, we're going to do a kedgeree, so mm. would you mind throwing it in? You will throw it in? Yeah. Bacon Thank in first? You. Yeah, so we'll... And then um, some spring onions. I don't know why I've sprinkled that in a chef's type fashion. And then a couple of spoonfuls of the fresh red chilli there, please. Oh, is this spicy? Yes. So we're just going to cook those off just for a few minutes. Isn't kedgeree normally done with fish? Yes, it is, you're right. Um, but we, because we're using the oat smoked bacon, I thought the flavours would go really, really nice oh. to give us that sort of smoky flavour. I'm going to add some curry powders because we want it just to have a little bit of a kick, but this is just mild. And how long does this take? A couple of minutes, just until the bacon's coloured off. Juice of half a lemon in there. OK. And then the this is cooked rice going in. Yeah, I've got to say, this does look rather splendid. Are you ready for the eggs? Oh, right, you're going to put them in while it's hot. And then just finishing off with a nice sprinkle of is that parsley. It? Is it all done? Yep. That's fantastic. What are we doing now? We're doing an upside down bacon hot pot. So a bit of butter to grease the dish. Mm -hmm. These are potatoes, carrots and parsnips. And then I'm going to put some uh, Cox's apple in. A bit of sage. OK. And then I'm using um, some Wiltshire cured bacon to on the top. So it's really nice meaty flavoured bacon. And then just a little bit of stock. That's all there is to it. And how long will that take to cook? In the oven for about 50 minutes, so just until the bacon's all crispy on the top. You've got some muffins for us. Yeah, these are some savoury muffins mm -hmm. that I've made with unsmoked bacon, and into the batter I stirred some fresh basil and some fried onions. Well, that's the Kedri, the bacon hot pot, and the fabulous muffins. You can find those recipes and more in the Bring Home the Bacon booklet, which you can download from lovepork.co.uk. Now, just remember that whenever you're going to buy your bacon, always look out for the red tractor mark.